have a brother who is having some motor issues and I thought I would do a video on how to maintain a brushless motor. Avid Slip Bearing Oil. This comes in a nice applicator bottle with a nice tip, leaking oil everywhere. This is supposed to be some good stuff, so we'll try it out. So on the brushless motor, we have a front cap and a rear cap, both of which are gonna need to be removed. Starting off on the castle motor, we're gonna remove the front cap. This happens to be a 2.5 millimeter hex. It is a little tight, probably has some Loctite in there. Okay, all the screws are removed from the front plate. Okay, so the way, the way I just removed this was by inserting the screw into one of the screws holes where uh, you mount your motor. And then I was able to grab onto that and, and, give it, and give it a tug with my pliers and it came free. Now inside here, there is a the first bearing here. Now this motor has been making some interesting sounds. Now this is a shielded bearing. You can tell by the, because it's metal. I'm gonna apply a very small amount of oil to the inside race here. It was probably not even one drop. And it kind of work itself in. Now there's a spacer here. Don't want to lose that or forget to put it back in. Now we can pull this. Boy, that guy is tight. I'm gonna grab onto with some pliers. Okay. So inside. Once the rotor is removed, you can see the stator on the inside, all the coilings, and at the very bottom there, there's a bearing. And that's the last bearing that needs to be lubricated. And I can see there's a spacer in there as well. We got two spacers inside there. I'll have to remember to put those on on the back side of this rotor. And there's another one in there. Okay, so there's three. There's that, that's a. Uh, that thing is all warped, but it's a uh, shim. Better make sure there's nothing else inside there. Now we're gonna pull this back cap off so using a one and a half millimeter driver. Okay, now we got the back plate. Okay, so right underneath these wires, you can kind of get underneath of the rear cap. You kind of want to just pry it up nice and easy all the way around. Try to go as evenly as possible. There we go. There's the end cap. Inside the motor looks clean. This is a waterproof system. It probably won't be waterproof after I get done. So I'm going to apply one drop of this bearing oil. Reassemble. Make sure your screw holes are lined up. Reinstall the three screws that hold in the back plate. Now for reinstalling the rotor. We're going to reinstall our shims. Now when you put this in, it's gonna to wanna to snap up into the motor. You wanna put it in carefully. I'm gonna put it upside down so that my shims stay on. Now magnetically, this is gonna to wanna to suck the motor rotor into the can here. So very carefully, firmly grab it. Make sure it seats down in there. Then we can put this other spacer on. We can reinstall the front cap. Now just like a car tire, it's best to snug these down together instead of all just one side all at once. So I'm just going to screw these in until they get close to, to the end and then I'll tighten them up evenly. Alright. 
The rotor is spinning good in there. That one's done. Now the Trinity Monster Max 17.5 turn. Uh, we actually just bought this. It only has probably two runs on it. Um, but it looks like we can actually oil without removing this front cap. Now the rear cap, we are gonna have to remove to oil the rear bearing. And looks like a one and a half millimeter. This is a motor we decided to try. Everybody at the track is running these things. the other bearings right there. I think we can actually oil these without removing too much, which is kind of nice. Looks like before one drop, all I'm putting down on this, right in between the inner race and the shield. This is the Avid Slip bearing oil. I'm going to go ahead and put this cap back on. It's like a lot easy maintenance. Much easier than the castle was. We're gonna tighten these down together at the end. We're just gonna kind of put them in first. Kind of snug them down. And that one's ready. What we have here now is the Team Orion VST2 Pro. This is a 13.5 turn uh, brushless censored motor. What we're going to do is we're going to pull this rear cap off to get to the rear bearing. The front bearing is uh, accessible without having to remove anything. So I'm going to go ahead and drop a bead of oil down in there. Avid slip bearing oil. We got one, two, three, four, five on this end cap. We got this motor in the used car we got for my five-year-old son. Well, this is our censored area. The bearing is inside there. I can get to it though without removing anything else. Just one drop of bearing oil. Now that I know, you don't have to remove the censored portion of the end cap. Make sure our timing's where we want it. Insert our five screws that hold on the rear end cap, and it will be done. And it that one's done. Moving on to the Tekken. This is a Gen 3 17.5 turn. This one's interesting. We can actually get to both bearings without even removing anything. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna kinda clean up in there because there is a little bit of debris and add a drop of bearing oil right there from the inner race to the shield on both these bearings and it'll be good to go. That was easy. So now moving on to the Leopard 9-turn 4370 kV. This is a brushless, sensorless motor. Uh, it's an older motor. It does, does, uh, does work pretty good though. We've enjoyed it. Haven't had too many issues with it. This one you can see both bearings. It looks like I can add oil without having to remove anything on this one as well. So I'll just add my oil. One drop between the race and the shield. And it's good to go. So now that my motors are all oiled and maintained, ready to go, I would say that the easiest to maintain and oil was the Tekken. I didn't have to remove anything to get to the bearings. The hardest motor that I came across 
was this uh, castle motor. Getting to the innards of it um, took a lot more finesse. Anyways, they're all ready to go. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video on how to maintain uh, your brushless motors.